Part 1. How I was raised. So to begin, I was born into a Jewish family and raised Jewish. Both of my parents are fully Jewish. My father is Ashkenazi Jewish and my mother is Sephardic and Mizrahi Jewish. Actually, for the first few years of my life, I was raised Hasidic. But once my parents divorced, my mother took me and my siblings out of the Hasidic community, but we were still raised religious and still went to a Jewish school. In our house, we kept full kosher, we did Shabbat, we did all the holidays, and we were raised completely Jewish. Uh, like I said, in my Jewish school, we were taught about Judaism and every everything about Judaism, Jewish history, um, Bible, Jewish traditions. Um, the problem I had was never with God. I always believed in God. But when I turned 17-ish, I started talking to people who weren't Jewish and people would ask me questions about Judaism. And the more people would question me, I started questioning myself. So as I was starting to search for answers, I realized that a lot of the things that I believed in or I was taught to believe in don't really make sense to me. So at that point, I was really confused and started you know, distancing myself from Judaism. But then at some point, I just felt like empty. I felt that I needed religion back in my life, and I felt I needed to feel God back in my life. If I'm being honest, every time I went to synagogue and I would pray as a kid, I always felt it was forced, and I never truly felt a connection with God. And I wanted to feel that connection with God because I would some, sometimes see women praying next to me, especially during Yom Kippur, and I would see them crying to God, praying, and I can see how much they believed in God, how much faith they had. And I always wanted to feel that because, and I always felt guilty for not feeling that. I was the only one out of my siblings who was always felt dragged into going to synagogue and dragged into praying, etc. I believed in God, but when I was speaking to God through, you know, prayer, I didn't feel that I was truly having a connection with God. So when I was about 17, 18-ish, I decided that I would read the Tehillim so I could get reconnected with God and so I can feel God's presence in my life again. But once I started reading, all these doubts about how Judaism is practiced today started resurfacing in my heart. I realized that I do believe in God 100% and I do believe that God created the world. However, I had a lot of difficulty within the Jewish religion. And at that point, I started doing research and trying to figure out why some why Jews were doing things we were doing and not doing other things that we weren't doing. And this is kind of basically what leads me into my part two of how I found Islam.